Welcome to Heftor Edition. So what we're going to be looking at now is... I saw a post in Discord by Zypher, I think his name is. I can't remember. I know it started with a Z, but he uh, shared uh, shared a post to another user in the Arco Linux uh, Discord server. And uh, so I followed the link because I was a bit curious about it myself. And I came across the issues part of it. And there's a couple of workarounds to get your system tray back into your polybar when you have rounded corners. So we're going to give it a go right now and see how it turns out. So let's uh, get into our Sublime Text and open file. We want to go to .config and polybar. And we want to go down to our main bar section. So while we're here, uh, we're going to do padding right, and let's just say 16. And then we come down here, we want it to be detached, so that'll be true. And we want the X offset to be about minus, we'll go minus 5. And see how that looks. Save it, and let's have a look. Alright, so the icons are up there, but they're covering the other part of our polybar. So let's increase this to say 26 and have a look at how that looks. Alright, that looks alright. So that's given us enough room for, I don't know, say an extra icon maybe, or it will depend on how many icons. Uh, notification icons that you have in your system tray on startup. So if you have say three, four, maybe even five, sometimes I have about four, five, some something like that. Depends on what I'm running. If I'm uh, running in in sync and mega and uh, the other one uh, sing thing. So so I have probably about six or seven. So my padding on my main machine would be around 36 I reckon my padding right but that's how you can get it um, so if you are running Herbsluft or BSP window manager on the Heftor edition then uh, this is how you can fix the rounded corners so you can have system tray with rounded corners so hopefully this was informative and uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video